EPA's mission is to protect human health and the environment, and so teaching the students about protecting human health and the environment, and particularly with younger children, just teaching them to appreciate the environment. A lot of the outreach that we do in science, technology, and math is really helping to motivate and pique an interest in the next generation. The people who are here are here because we're passionate about our science, we're passionate about the work we do, and we're passionate about the environment. And so I think that lends itself to wanting to get out into the community and work with kids and, and speak to people about the importance of the work that we do and the importance of the environmental challenges that we face. And we can do that in events that are one at a time, but we can also do it through things like citizen schools where we're able to really build up a relationship over time with a group of students. EPA opening up their doors to Southern School of Energy and Sustainability is something that's very important because of the exposure that they provide for our students. And the employees here are given their knowledge, they're given their skills or the idea of the skills that they have. And it's good for our kids to see that these are everyday people as well. And it's something that is not so far that you can't reach it. When EPA goes out into the school, we don't teach what the teachers teach. Typically, we supplement the curriculum and we bring in real world opportunities. It's about exposure and our kids need the exposure. I want my kids exposed to your way of life as far as the workforce is concerned. Just a few minutes ago, one said, you know, I didn't realize that it was this much out here. I didn't realize that this, this could take place. One kid has already said, I'm going to apply for an internship. So before today, does he even know about this? Being able to connect with the kids, talk to them about what careers look like, and give them a little bit of that glimpse into what it means to be a scientist or engineer and what that looks like, I think is really valuable to the students who just might not have that within their social network. We have been doing a science day at Y.E. Smith Elementary School for 11 years and it is one of my favorite activities. We have about 20 employees as well as a few community volunteers who come into Y.E. Smith and we do hands-on science activities with the classes. So each class has three or four different activities that they do and they're exposed to a variety of scientists, engineers, mathematicians. And we've been going back so long that we'll sometimes run into students when we're at a middle school or a high school who have gone to Y.E. Smith and remember the science days. And so to me that's really, really rewarding.